Hey everyone, today is plant swap day. Tobinar! Toby, stop, no. Toby, no! Since when are you so bad? Never. All right, I'm gonna hold him because he's being really bad and wants to eat the mic. Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today is plant swap day. There are 50 people going to today's plant swap and I am so excited. This is my first plant swap and I'm bringing a ton of plants. It's probably nothing I'm gonna want there, so I'm so excited to give everything away. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to record or anything in there, but I'm taking a lot, and I'm gonna try and interview people, but I'm also in charge of taking photos as well as swapping. So we will see if I'm able to do ghost. There's a ghost in the house. My tea's almost ready, so I'm gonna sign out and then take you along on the plant swap and yell at the cat that's batting that thing. Starting to bring their plants in and look at all the amazing plants that people are bringing. I think my mind was blown when I was making this video because there's so many cool things. And let's get started. Here we go. Well, we're here. Um, this is our second ever Buffalo Houseplant Swap group meetup. Um, we did one in June and we are expecting about 50 people today. Very exciting. And this all happened because of the Buffalo Houseplant Swap group on Facebook and all of the enthusiasm. So we put together an event of about 50 people coming today. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, I'm hoping to get rid of some things. I do already have a swap set up ahead of time for a Cebu Blue, so that's very exciting. I do see some things here that are tempting, but I'm here trying to get rid of plants, so I'm hoping not to go home with more than five things. I like this string of nickels that's here. Um, beyond that, I don't know. I'm just waiting for like to see what strikes my fancy. I brought some aloe vera. I brought, um, oh, the most exciting thing for me that I brought were um, our tiny fiddle leaf figs that I rooted and grew myself. So, yeah, I just am curious to see what happens to them and maybe somebody else will be too. Thank you for coming, I'm Rachel. I created the Facebook group that you're all hopefully uh, members of and it's been a lot of fun. Bridget's gonna be our guest speaker. She's a resident plant expert. Um, and Joe is here. He's gonna talk a little bit about grassroots. Um, yeah. Take it away, Joe. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. Um, and also thank you for Rachel for graciously donating our proceeds to Grassroots Gardens. Uh, so if you don't know Grassroots Gardens, we help to facilitate 110 community gardens in Buffalo and Niagara Falls. Uh, so if you're interested in volunteering, connecting to your local community garden, we have a map of all that on our website or you can come talk to me. Now, so is gonna talk to us a little bit about the space we're in. I'm a sleep health educator. This place is called Start With Sleep. We do address medical sleep challenges, but our main goal is to get you a good night's sleep naturally. So you're like, what does, what do plants have to do with sleep soda, right? Well, plants are a great way to detoxify the air. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that. Mid oxygen. But there are actually a list of sleep promoting plants that we talk about. So if you ever have extra yeah. aloe vera and you know someone who snores at night, Offer them your plant. And next up, I'm gonna introduce Bridget. Bridget and I work together along with Joe at Urban Roots. I hope you're all familiar with Urban Roots Garden Center on the west side. If not, please visit. Bridget is our resident houseplant expert. So I've never been without them. And some of the things I've learned from all of this time hanging out with plants is, oh, so you get your plants at the plants shop. They're so beautiful and full and just perfect and shiny and green. And then they're at your house and they start to change and they just become a part of your household, right? And they're not, they, they stretch towards the light. They're not that compact little gorgeous cluster of leaves anymore. And that's okay. That's what happens, right? So you've got to be, you go. Know, no. This is just, it, we're, be, we're, we're, we're letting down our hair around each other. We're like, you know, they're getting to know us, we're getting to know them. So you have to have realistic expectations. I mean, looking at these plants, you know, I'm now realizing just the level of you guys, you're up here. Like you don't need maybe what I'm telling you. But the other thing I'm gonna say is sometimes it takes like three times when you kill something and then you finally get to know it, right? And you're like, oh crap. And you're like, then you try again and you kill it. Sometimes that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I need like therapy about it. Right, so the third, <laughs> I mean, honestly, the third time, sometimes you're just like, I, first I overwatered, second was not enough light, whatever the issue is, maybe you had an infestation of bugs or something, try again, you know, but then sometimes you and plants just don't get along, like certain plants, I just, they just don't like me, this, you know, so, you know, some people have ivies that hate them, or, you know, I just like, what, does, what doesn't like me, I don't know, so the last thing I'm going to say is, 
if you have a plant and it's clinging to life and you've had it for three years and it's just like a, a leaf, you can throw that away. Like you, I give you permission <laughs> to just say, we're done, honey, we're breaking up, goodbye. With your compost, just, you're done. And that's okay, you don't, it's just because it's alive, it doesn't mean it's meant to be, like, I give you permission. <laughs> you can get rid of it. So anything else I have to say, I just was bringing my plants in for, because it's getting cold out, so, you know, you, the steps that I've been taking are diatomaceous earth for the ants and the bugs, right? That's, you know, something that's very, very safe for your house. There's two different types, but the kind that we have at Urban Roots, or any shop, whatever, is diatomaceous earth, and that's wonderful for the bugs. And the other thing is systemic, which you put in a couple days before you bring it inside. So it's got the systemic just to kill anything that's, you know, they're very prone to spider mites. So that's something I do, and now I just can't, I don't have one. And that's about all I have to say. If I, that's all I have to say. Um, that's it. And have fun. So the plant swap was yesterday. It was super, super fun. I loved meeting all the plant people. And now I'm gonna show you some of the hauls that I got. We're doing this one outside because guess what? It smells really, really bad. This is a stapella that I traded a Madagascar jasmine for, which I find hilarious because obviously the girl wanted something that's better smelling because this smells like a dead body. Thankfully, I am not keeping it. It has gotta be one of the coolest flowers I have ever seen. And there's a lot of other flowers that are coming into it, but I really don't need something that smells like a corpse in my house. So it's staying outside and giving it to my friend, Gordon, who has an amazing garden, which everybody needs to go see. And he likes weird and unusual things. So he can deal with the corpse smelling flower. But yeah, so this is one of the things that I picked up at the swap. And now we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you the other stuff. All right, all right, all right. Let's go through the other scores. My goal for the plant swap was not to come home with any plants, and of course that did not happen. I mean, only then the um, stapella that I had already planned on treating. My goal was not to come home with any plants, and of course that did not happen. And I brought home some plants, but they're small, and one of them combines with um, with the plant that I already had. So I feel like that doesn't count. It's not taking up another pot. All right, my other score was another Hoya, was a Hoya David Kumanyagi, I believe it's called, and most likely saying that name wrong, and I added it to the pot with my other Hoya of the same species. So, I mean, really, it's already just still one plant, and therefore it doesn't count. And I got this from Instagram friend Alex Spruz, Sproth. I don't know how to say your name, I'm sorry. But um, it was really cool because we interact on Instagram a lot and I'm so happy that we got to interact in person and that I got this plant from her because she's awesome and also Hoya Head. The other thing that I got, I believe is fairly common. Uh, it's a philodendron lemon lime. I have my philodendron pothos wall which is coming along fabulously and on that one two marble white marble white marble queens is that what they're called marble queen pothos with a jade pothos which you'd think like that the jade pothos would be easy to find but it's not and then i have a neon pothos a philodendron micans and a philodendron brazil and now i have a philodendron lemon lime and the last thing that i got were some ruby cascade cuttings and this is a really cute little chemical thing which i found in a state cell that i went to after the plant swap and i have no idea what this is and maybe there's chemical residue in here that's probably going to kill these cuttings but isn't this adorable i actually kind of really like how this looks and i almost want to keep it like this forever which i probably can't so i scored this 
Chris from Annette, and she is a new friend, and we're gonna do a lot of plant shopping together. And that was the, that was the greatest thing about this plant swap is I got to meet so many plant nerds and so many people that love plants, and I could speak openly about my love of plants, and they did too, and we all got along so well. Oh, and I forgot one more score from the plant swap. It is really adorable, Monstera Silca Picana. I actually am a huge fan of the smaller Monsteras. I really want to get a Monstera Peru because I just really find the smaller ones a lot more attractive. Maybe, I mean, I have a ton of space. I have a huge house, so I, I could put a larger one, but I just, I just want the small Monsteras. They're absolutely adorable and they're really cute. So I'm really happy to get this. And I got this from Brianna. Thank you, Brianna, so much. She's a huge plant nerd, just like me, and I'm glad that we're a new plant friend. It was organized by my friend Rachel, who I work with at Urban Roots, and she's awesome and also passionate about plants. She worked so hard to organize it, and it was great. Great job, Rachel. Like, she deserves so much credit. The plant stuff was awesome. I really enjoyed meeting so many people, and I'm super impressed with our local plant game. You guys brought it. It was amazing. There definitely needs to be more plant swaps. That's what everyone agrees, and Rachel cannot do this alone if you are interested in helping Rachel organize more plan swap definitely contact her her Instagram and her Facebook handle is Buffalo Rach I will link it somewhere up here and you can contact her that way. I definitely plan on helping because it's easy to happen. There is a plant swap happening at Urban Roots on Saturday, October 12th. So if you have any plants left over from the swap or if you want to swap more plants, definitely go and check that out. That will probably be the last swap of the season is my guess because you don't want to take plants in and out once it starts snowing. And as we all know, it starts snowing in Buffalo in October, especially October 13th if it falls on a Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I'm always amazed that you guys want to watch me ramble about plant things and please subscribe like comment share whatever you want to do if you don't want to do that you know what that's okay too but i would love to talk to you and hear from you and interact with you so please do that anyway thanks for watching